100 million subscribers. Let's go. So you might be wondering how all of this. I rented a $1 million a night hotel room. I recreated Willy Wonka's chocolate factory in real life. Started with this. What did you say? Now it's no mystery to anyone that Mr. Beast can spend millions and millions of dollars on his videos to ensure that they're captivating, but where did it all come from and how did he become the most subscribed to individual YouTuber ever? Let's rewind to 2011 where little Jimmy Donaldson from Greenville, North Carolina started his first YouTube channel under the name Beast5TY, which eventually led to its deletion when he realized that doing sub for sub only increased his subscriber count while still only receiving less than 10 views on his videos. But born on the 19th of February 2012 was the channel Mr. Beast 6000, where Jimmy would start to gain tens of views per video. His earliest videos were centered around gaming, most of which was playing Minecraft and Call of Duty. After one full year, he'd reached his first 36 subscribers. He understood that viral videos were the name of the game, which led to one of his earliest attempts at virality with a 45 second video where he was simply hoping it would get 1 million views. If this video gets 1 million views, um, I'll... I'll be happy, I mean. Which funnily enough, after almost a decade, achieved 10 times that amount. T chances are it's not gonna get a million views. Now it was around the time that Mr. Beast had uploaded his 100th video where he began to change things up a bit and started making videos about how much some of the larger YouTubers were making from their videos. At this point, it was getting clearer that he was experimenting with different types of videos to see what would get him views. As of March 2014, he had posted so many videos that his channel had garnered over 100,000 views on YouTube. And it was finally on April 12th, 2014, that Mr. Beast had reached the wonderful milestone of 1,000 subscribers. But unfortunately, it wasn't too long after that, around 1800 subs, where he had taken a one month hiatus from posting and was thinking about quitting YouTube altogether. Thankfully for Jimmy, due to the support of his fans, he continued with his channel and really started shifting into making videos that people would find interesting, as opposed to only making the ones that he wanted. It was this mindset change that really started turning the tables because it was on January 31st, 2016, where Mr. Beast posted his three and a half hour video where he would count to 10,000. One, two, three, 137, 33, 138, 30. 89, 78, 971, Fast forward to January 8th, 2017, where Jimmy uploads the famous 40 hours of counting to 100,000 video, which gained millions of views after only a few days. One, two, 93,111, one hundred thousand. At this point, Jimmy's dedication and drive to grow his YouTube channel was more apparent than it had ever been, because there was a very distinct change in the types of videos he uploaded after this point, with the intensity ranging from watching Dance Till You're Dead for 10 hours straight, to counting to 200,000. He continued to gain momentum and started focusing on more and more interesting ideas like, can 100 megaphones break glass? and also began introducing money-based videos like giving a homeless man $10,000 and eventually as extreme as the last one to take their hand off a million dollars keeps it. As Mr. Beast's popularity continued to climb, so did the level of craziness in his videos. He's even stated numerous times that much of his video's success comes from his original and outlandish video ideas, some of which include can 50,000 magnets catch a cannonball, I put 10 million Legos in a friend's house, and I spent 50 hours buried alive. With the meteoric rise of T-Series in 2018 and the race to 100 million subs between T-Series and PewDiePie, Mr. Beast stepped in to support PewDiePie to the fullest by purchasing billboards, Hey! Uh, what does this one say again? Subscribe so to PewDiePie for original content. TV and radio ads. No one kills memes as quickly and efficiently as this Swedish man. As well as even multiple seats at the Super Bowl for himself and his team where they all wore shirts directing the audience to sub to PewDiePie's channel. To the public, Jimmy was seen as a real philanthropist giving away so much money to complete strangers. But he thought it was time to up the ante and on October 25th, 2019, he teamed up with former NASA engineer and fellow YouTuber Mark Rober to raise $20 million and plant a single tree for each dollar raised to fight deforestation. The team went on to raise an additional $4.3 million for the cause. September 17th, 2020, Beast Philanthropy is created where each and every dollar raised by the channel is donated to charity. The channel going on to pick up 11.9 million subs as of 2023. December 19th, 2020, Mr. Beast Burger is created and his first virtual restaurant is born. I'm sorry for making you wait. Here's $100. Oh, thank you. Chris said I'll be a second. Here's another 100 oh, oh, Mr. Beast. October 19th, 2021, Team Seas is introduced where Jimmy and Mark Rober take on another challenge, but this time to raise $30 million to clean up 30 million pounds of plastic and other types of waste from oceans, rivers, and beaches. They once again surpass their target and raise a total of $33 million. 
He's not yet done with his outlandish ideas, because on November 24th, 2021, he releases his version of Squid Game, where 456 contestants must face each other in various challenges to compete for the grand prize of $456,000, which then goes on to become his most popular video, raking in over 375 million views as of 2023. It's now July 28th, 2022, and Mr. Beast has reached 100 million subs, making him the fifth YouTuber ever and the second individual YouTuber to reach this coveted milestone. And Jimmy is no stranger to awards as he's been nominated for 18 awards, 11 of which he took home the win. And even now, he's still going because most recently in 2023, he's paid for the cataract surgery of 1,000 people from across the globe, which has received both praise and criticism. Oh you, my okay? God, okay. I see everybody. While many praise it for being a selfless, life-changing act, many others criticize it by stating that it was motivated solely by profit. The biggest thing I've ever made, probably these nuts. Mm. Now, what can be taken away from Mr. Beast's wild ride to the top is to never stop moving, always experiment, and always try to perfect your process in order to make the highest quality content that your audience will crave.